Hey yo, what's good family? It's your favorite cousin CJ. You already know I'm back with another video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm right back with it again. And today I got the ABA's GOAT artist, A Train Gilmore. A lot of people in the NBA space, especially nowadays currently, they don't really they don't really appreciate the older guys just such as Artist Gilmore because I don't know for some reason they just don't put him up there. They don't respect his greatness. But look at that fucking hook shot. Bang, nigga. Respect that respect my nigga. This fucking mountain of a man was 7 foot 2, 240 pounds. And in his rookie year, in his ABA season, in his rookie year, he not only did he win rookie of the year, he also won MVP that same year. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn who you playing against or whatever you're playing in. In your first year, you win the most valuable player award. You're nice. And it won't just a fluke either, cause he's also an 11 time all star, 5 time all defensive, ABA all time team. I personally think he's the best ABA player ever depending on his length. And he also won a championship right before the ABA ended. But stats to the side, you know, stats don't really tell the full story. That's why I got the highlights in the back so you guys can have a visual representation of this nigga's game. See, look, get it to him on the block. Hook shot easy. He ain't Kareem. He just did it on Kareem. He said you're not the only one with that shot of your arsenal, baby And after watching some field and looking at his stats I've determined that his archetype is a two-way paint beast because not only was he an efficient post scorer by shooting 58% for, for his career He also was a five-time all-defensive like I said earlier and he would block shots in his rookie year where he won the MVP in the ABA he blocked five shots per game and you couldn't need foul as big as either because you send him to the line he's shooting like 65 70 percent for a nigga that's seven foot two in the 70s and 80s bro that's pretty much automatic now weakness of his game because all the greats got weaknesses at some point especially during this time area his weaknesses of his game he could not really shoot the ball he couldn't really be effective outside the paint but he's seven foot two so get the ball down to his big ass he'll make something happen and don't think my boy was big for nothing either because he also snapped about 12 rebounds a game including two and his worst years two and a half best years five offensive rebounds a game so he's giving the team at least three two to three extra possessions a night while also giving their ass about 20 to 30 points on over 50 percent efficiency and if you dig a little deeper into the stats, you'll see that this man had about 11 triple doubles, all with assists. So even if you double teamed him, he had enough passing vision and ability to get it out his hand and give it to the man. And his had great teammates to hit goddamn shot. Hey family, you made it this far into the video. Make sure to drop a like and maybe even sus consider subscribing. Because you, if you're this far, you obviously like the video. So you know, it helps out the channel a lot. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. But you don't have to though. Alright, back to the video. Alright, now family. Now, I, with all that being said about this boy artist, about this boy A-Train. I haven't even really delved in into his defensive abilities yet. Like I said earlier during the archetype version, he is a two-way paint beast that means that he can lock your ass up and with being seven foot two and no official record on his wingspan just look at his long ass arm and his wingspan gotta be like seven five at least and with them lanky ass arms and the strong ass body that means he's sending shots back he making sure niggas don't even want to come into the paint i promise if i was in the lead and i seen this seven two big ass down there i ain't going down there i'm shooting a jumper and even if you wanted to dunk on his ass, he's left-handed. So if you go up with your right, he gonna swat that shit with his left. Cause you went up to his strong side. I don't know why Audrey Gilmore isn't included in some of the greatest Bitman debates. Looking at his stats and looking at his footage right here, the only thing he doesn't have is an NBA championship. But he won a championship in the ABA before they merged. So, so any stock in that? And you want, depending on how much stock you want to put in the ABA compared to the NBA, I want to put a lot since he dominated that league by winning Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same year. So with all that being said, and him being as talented as he was even when he got to the NBA and putting niggas on notice, I think he might be debatably the greatest ABA player ever and debatably a top 15 bit man of all time. I might even want to put him top 10. Somewhere between that 10 to 8, but definitely top 15, not top 12, at least. 
All right, family, this is all I got for y'all on this one. Make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe if you haven't already. It's been your favorite cousin, CJ, a.k.a. Supreme Kaja. And I'll see y'all boys in the next one. Y'all stay safe out there, all right? Peace, peace. Every time I step, it's like a motion picture. Would describe how you gon' step, but it's a bad description. Laughing at my haters, you can catch me at the bank tripping. Who knew that I would count it up just off the rap missions? And I'm certain that I'm...